I know you said the prosecution should do its own work, um, call it cases, but talking about specifics, how do you think that the prosecution can do its work better so that the public doesn't continue to have this impression that the judiciary is aiding corruption by throwing out all these cases? On the part of the prosecution, the federal government or the state government, you know prosecution is not just federal government. Um, the state government can prosecute, ESCC and all the agencies, ICPC. Okay, let's use the term prosecution generally that encompasses all these agencies plus the federal government too. You know, I, I want to see a prosecution that is not in the haste to satisfy the expectation of the public. Yes, the society wants, um, want us, want the society, wants the government to fight corruption. But in so doing, the law also uh, has recommendations, has its own tenet. So you must abide by the law. That's what you call the rule of, rule of law. We are not a jungle nation that you are accused, uh, accused a person and then he's not given a uh, fair trial, the court must convict. I've seen where um, prosecution will say the court is not cooperating with you. The court ought not to cooperate with anybody. The court is an arbiter. It's an independent and an impartial arbiter. The court ought to hear both sides. That is the other uh, utterance pattern. I hear you, I hear the other person, and I pass the judgment. So I want to see a prosecution that is more thorough. You know, in terms of investigation, that is where um, um, the success or failure of a prosecution starts. You don't do a short investigation. You want to see an investigation that is um, step by step. You know, in other crime, um, you see where the prosecution can take two, three, four years to tidy up the case, and it's watertight. No, no defense lawyer will be able to, you know, um, 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 secure uh, a release of an accused person where it is watertight. For instance, where you say money has been found in somebody's house, so so amount of money, and you're not able to link it to a crime. There's no law that says, look, I can't keep 10 million in my house. If you said you have found 10 million or 10 million dollars in my house, you must link it to a crime. But can the prosecution ask questions when your lawful income doesn't support the kind of money found in your possession? For instance, if a lawful income of a judge in a year is 30 million, and you, you read this house and you see 60 million, you know? Or even more. Or even more. The law does not say it. You're you not supposed to ask him to, where did he get the extra money? There's no law that says so. That is the truth about it. That is the truth about it. It could, it could be a gift. Not definitely in his own line of duty, but, but judges can farm. That's the truth about it. Some judges have inheritance, you know? So you, they do say that once you become a judge, you, are, you cannot maybe get to rent or get your family inheritance and all that. But what we are saying is that, look, when you find this money, you must link it to a source, a proceed of a crime, a, 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 it must be a bribe in, the, in your own line of duty, in your, I mean, as a judge, maybe in your performance of, you, there must be something that you must have done that offends the law. You know, one thing that we face to understand is that, look, there's no offense that is not codified. You know, it must be, it must be by law. It's not what the society expects. No particular offense that doesn't have a law backing it up. You know, law without sanctions are mere waste. So there must be a law prescribing a punishment for such an act. So when you charge person under a particular act, you must also link that person to that crime. Most times, where a no case submission succeeds, is where the prosecution fails to link the accused person. Or sometimes you bring a witness that during cross examination is so discredited, it's not. The prosecution business is a serious business. It's a very serious business. So you you are not just trying the, the, the accused person, you are trying the society. Because a crime is committed against society. So the society, to me, is on trial too. Because this is. We are families, we are human beings, we are individuals, that are an aggregate of us that make the society. So the society, the society is interested in prosecution. So all of us must come together and say, look, the prosecution shouldn't have this idea that the accused person must be convicted. If you are in the haste, you make a lot of mistakes. You do thorough investigation, present your case, um, um, you must prove the element of the offense, you must link the accused person to the offense. Sufficiently, you must link him. Not when your witness said, uh, for instance, um, your witness, some, I've seen some cases that your, the witness said the accused person, as at the time I investigated him, he was not there. We we'll, we'll later found that he was in Lagos, where the accused person, maybe the offense actually committed in quarrel. The, the, the defense of alibi, I wasn't even there. The witness have been so discredited. No reasonable court will want to convict an accused person based on such a discredited witness.
The perception that judges are aiding corruption, especially when they acquit defendants in some of these high-profile cases, how do you think that the judiciary can get over that or work around it? This is a constitutional provision, except we want to change the constitution. You know, if you do that, if you look at section 36 or 5, that presume an accused person innocent, you know, if, if you now want to amend that and say, look, if you are accused, you are guilty, so you need to prove your innocence. Because to, in most cases, that is how the prosecution tends to present this case, that this person is guilty. He, sh he should prove his innocence. No, that's not the constitutional requirement. So we need to do a whole lot of our judicial, um, um, the review of our judicial system. One, for instance, you want to make the accused person guilty by amending section 36 of 5, you know, there of all, in this other case, you, you, you need to put the onus of uh, defense on the accused person. Look, we have accused you. Tell us that you are not guilty. Is it that you are advocating <laughs> that we should <laughs> Maybe that is what, but I, 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 do, I don't want to subscribe to that because we have a wonderful system. The system we have, you know, uh, protects political vendetta. Because if I'm in government today and I do not like a particular face, I will accuse every person and then I will put them in prison. But so I'm not advocating it. I like uh, what we have. You know, and the, our, the system we have is self-cleansing. It's, it's, it's something that uh, activates itself for someone who may not actually be democratic. You know, when you have a prosecution that wants to pursue vendetta rather than justice, you, you now change the law to accuse the person and then let the, the person prove his own innocence. We're going to have a whole lot of problems. So I want us to maintain what we have. The only thing that the, the prosecution needs to follow the law. And the judiciary will just have to live with the perception that it's aiding corruption? No, it's not. I, I do not subscribe. I'm a, an active practitioner. You see, I want us to go home with this. What is the evidence presented before the court? Not the public perception. Even if, you, if even a, a man or an accused person is caught red-handed, you must bring that to the court. You know, the court is not a jungle arena. What is evidence? What is the proof? What have you brought to the table for the judge to see? By the time you fail, that is the problem we have. Because the prosecution, just like I said, we need to aid the prosecution to everybody. For me, if you want to clean society, everybody must be a prosecutor, everybody must be a defendant. You know? What has the prosecution brought to the table? That is where, that is where the problem lies. Not the whole, this whole fight about um, um, corruption, whether it's a vendetta, whether it's political vendetta and all that, why are they not being convicted? It has to lie with the prosecution itself. Because these prosecutions are also lawyers. They are, so they know this is what the law expects. So you don't expect that once you are signing trial, you must be convicted. Because justice of the case, just like I said earlier, so it's a tripartite way. It's even justice move for the accused person, and then the society, and the victim too. So the whole judicial system, as far as I'm concerned, has to be reviewed.